I've been back for another story. One story of my home radio. I was just one teenager elf and we like to play on certain a- evenings some shaman rituals in the forest and told to each other stories. I with my friends he often invited me in a new group with new elves from another forest. We go to the fire and the shaman rituals begin as usual. We go sitting behind one big fire and look in the meditations we will we look in the fire with our left eye and back with our left with our other eye shadows after the camp they are well playing with the shadows of the fire we see some silhouettes from the trees per se you say playing with the fire walking around if the trees can walk it is the only an optional delusion of our consciousness. One of my, one of the new members of this club, look after me and ask me. See you also these creatures around the camp. I see you say to him, what mean what do you mean? That's horny creatures. You were magic it. Say I but are we still a little bit Watch anything that are being done. I was watching the upside of this camp, and now I see also something. And I will to so my friend, Natalia. See who also this silhouettes around the camp. That's he say that's the ghosts. So I don't know the ghosts of the shampoo ritual. Why there are thorns? That be the ghost of Festival to the ritual to the shaman ritual. The first one was.
was one old man clothed in one 19th century clothes. story about his friends that st were still in line. It was scary. It was scared by one pumpkin ghost. One strange creature that comes from a pumpkin. The ghosts Sessions and pumpkin and scared his friends. And they asked me or one of my friends to say that be not so scared that he have actually possessed the pumpkin. And that was not something that he wanted to, to share. Try to shock his friend with being actually something that he had done to show his friend that he still sometimes thinks about him. I was a yes, murder actually by one psychopath's thick murderer in the forest. Five years ago, in the past, when this event was playing, it was happening. He thinks that this murderer be still in life, something. Some place on the forest. I was walking after that, but the referral was stopped. Thinking about the story of this man, of this ranger, protector of the forest. Some other guy, some other elf that I know, know by name, but I have not as for his name. Go after the scream. Tyrion say, say to him, Karivor, Karivor. Uh, the scream comes from this place, and you also elf you are. Come after me, I know. Why there have been exactly. After one tree, one dark tree with long, weakening tails, and one more and completely full with red leaves, there was lady, one woman. Very frightening man with a 
rim on his face. Was sure that this man was not something good in his eyes to do with this woman. It was a young woman. I think she was a year of 550. So actually, she was still a little. That's very young, even for a human. That's young, even for human standards. Because the standards of an elf being different, because most of us can become very, very old. Over the millenniums, I've seen decades. I go after her and say, man, drop your knife. The man don't put his head. And I say, again, drop your knife. The man put his head to Naturian. Bring them that way to the woman and bring her a little bit away from the man. The man was a year of 40, was late in his 40. He already have become a little bit more old than the most usually old white woman. His hair was already a little bit grey and I have also some old spots in his face. Maybe this is the man that murdered that ranger. Maybe. Have you also murdered some? Try to murder somebody else. And I use my hypnotic eyes and my hypnotic voice so that the needle can go away. what the old man said. Only three mothers and it was pleasurable. I liked to do it because my early hood was very rude. I'd be molested by my father and that would make me this way. Let's think you that you give the right to do this to other living beings. So I uh, answered that. that you father have done to you. Take occasion on the suffering where you spare yourself the sight. How long to that? Want you that's there uh, again and again do the same circle over and over again. Why harm somebody if you know how it been to be harmed? You have to Watch from this angle. You don't act like a monster if you be treated like a monster. I'm by a monster. You stop the monsters.
final to attack me. But I still froze this leg, so he falls for over. Now it is time for you to bury your soul. How will you feel if I turned you in a tree? Man, old man. That's not so old, but still. Use your magic. His feet been sucked in the ground. What do you want me? Answered the man. I turn to you in what you have to be for the rest of your life. A tree. Those heads grow, begin to grow, leaves from the same color as the tree, red like blood. His hands become sticks. Leaves and longer sticks. His nails become actually. His nails become leaves, and his fingers become smaller sticks. I told him that this is for what you have done. Trash like you deserve no better. The be tree put in the forest forever for the day that I've been murdered. This curse will not bring rests as long as somebody. Being harmed. After this, I and Atrium and the other go back to the Shaman Circle. We talked a lot a bit about it. The ghost of the ranger will come back even though the Shaman Circle was away and become sitting next to us. his head down and say thank you for breaking my murder and turned me in a tree. Now I can rest forever. The woman actually she was also with us. She was uh, with a man, with another elf, uh, with the other elf. On top of our, our tree told that go after the scream. And she was escorted back to her village. She got told where she lived. And that she's being kept out by that.
Why you like the story?